So when you're working on your song, especially in the pop world, you probably want a dense vocal production. At least myself as a producer, that's something that I'm always going for as well. Here are six things that you could do at home to help improve your vocal layers effectively. So excited to say that all the examples are in multi-track form that you can download down below. Steel Maggie's Holy Ground, which I did produce. So you can go ahead, download these, play with them, get to know them and try these techniques out in this fantastic vocal layer universe we're about to dive into. Number one, the style you sing in. So when going for something super, super dense, you're gonna realize that you have a lot of offending frequencies coming up and stacking together. And a quick way to mitigate that can be doing it right at the source. So instead of singing in your full belt voice for a harmony or a background part, if your lead is doing that, like Mariah's doing here, you can instead go more with a head voice, something more relaxed that's going to leave the main kind of prominent vocal up front and keep these other vocals around supporting it like this. There's no doubt. Number two sing it in a different octave. One of the easiest things, again, even if you have changed tone, it might still be clashing with each other because the fundamental frequencies of that pitch are gonna be very close and kind of hard to separate. So if you have an additional part that isn't quite sitting, try taking it up probably into your falsetto, an octave above, or down an octave and singing it down there if you have the range to do so. That's exactly what helped this part in Steel Maggie's Holy Ground stand out and be more round and low and full, so then that lead would have its space up top. There's no doubt. Number three, step back from the mic for non-lead parts. So this isn't something that we personally did in this track because I'm using the Slate ML1 microphone, which comes with a bunch of different microphone emulations. So we could kind of change which mic thing we're using on a different part. But I'm gonna go ahead and assume that you're not gonna be able to invest $1,000 for a microphone chain right now. So with that being said, taking a step back, two steps back, three steps back, will drastically change the sound of your vocal because you'll be getting more room sound and less of the direct high frequencies. It may be different, it might work better, it might not work better, but it at least gives you a different tone that will immediately separate from from the lead part. Number four, filtering. So what we did is we took one last step and we did some telephone filtering kind of things to her voice, which again, removes it completely from being like anything else you hear in the song. With the amount of wall of sound that's happening with the supporting holy ground lines, as well as the meandering melody behind, this filter gave it the pinnacle touch to be completely separate, prominent, and really cut through everything else happening. Example. Number five, reverb and effects choices. So now you have all these vocals. You've got big ones, you've got soft ones. You got ones where you're singing away, you got ones where you're singing close. You put some filters on some, some without any filtering at all. But there's one last thing you can do for no money in your DAW and make them separate. And that is your choice of reverb and delays. By putting them in slightly different spaces, that will inevitably shape the EQ and sound of that vocal. So we put her lead vocal with this reverb and delay. In the main counterpoint melody, we put completely with two different delays and the same reverb, but the delays were enough to completely separate it from the lead vocal. Example. There's no doubt. Here, 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 here. Number six, you. Yes, it's you, the creative one. You know, music is a vast landscape, a terrain that we can all walk upon. And, you know, it's up to you to sow the seeds of harvest and go home and take those seeds and make bread and eat the bread, the bread of music. <laughs> so all jokes aside, those are incredibly simple and effective, honestly, free ways that you can help separate your vocal layers from each other in your song. If you found this super helpful, you're probably gonna love this video I hear I did about trap pop or watch me remix this Billie Eilish snippet over here. Other than that, make sure you subscribe. I'm sure you've liked the video by now. I super appreciate your time and energy on this. Now get out there, work hard and make something amazing.